this is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. I uh, come across this um, company here. It looks kind of interesting. Um, I've been talking about a lot of uh, crypto. Um, forwardly, I just did a video at uh, TSNP, Humble Pay. Uh, everybody's uh, interested in those. Uh, if you follow my channel, uh, you know I'm totally into uh, um, hemp, uh, MJ. Uh, not smoking it, but the stocks. <laughs> so I had to take a break from uh, crypto and uh, get in back into uh, hemp. <laughs> um, but this one, I'm kind of liking it. I was uh, reading something earlier, and I saw a lot of talk about this one. Uh, looks like it could be kind of on the uh, ground floor. And as you can see, it's a penny stock. Um, um, it looks like it uh, broke two cents uh, but it's kind of coming down you can kind of see what it's done here over the last five days and a uh, month you could have got into it but it's just kind of been staying here at a penny but um, I can kind of see the potential behind this one it's got kind of some interesting uh, products here um, I found a couple of interesting articles here at uh, CBD hemp oil market uh, growth statistics share estimation future trends Research Insights, uh, Ronisaurus Rex, Impact and Size Value by 2023. Market Research uh, studied the global CBD hemp oil market size through the review period till uh, 2023. By 2023, the hemp oil market is expected to rise at high CAGR to acquire uh, considerable revenue. The large scale prevalence of chronic malaises is observed and catalyzed the demand for CBD hemp oil. The increase in adoption of CBD hemp oil for medical uses such as mitigation of stress relief, uh, which is um, everybody has stress, especially through this uh, pandemic, um, especially a lot of people have stress if they're even at work. So. <laughs> um, but uh, I've recently done a bunch of uh, psychedelic videos, um, which uh, cover stress, um, PTSD, um, anxiety. It's all kinds of different things. So um, treatment of anxiety, just as I said, and depression, uh, which uh, I also covered those on uh, my psychedelic videos. You can find those within the uh, last one to two weeks. Uh, beneficial for heart health, uh, diabetes. Um, which I've covered on the uh, channel here before talking about uh, Sensionics uh, ticker is S-E-N-S -E uh, acne reduction and alleviation for cancer symptoms can underline the market rise the surge of rising health care expenditure can work in favor of the CBD hemp oil market in the foreseeable future uh, feel free to uh, go ahead and uh, pause the video and you can read the rest there for yourself again this is on uh, medgadget.com as I have a couple other articles here to go over uh, CBD hemp oil market rising prevalence of depression to stoke up its uh, demand in the uh, market and as you can see this is just dated here today the uh, global CBD hemp oil market is likely to witness substantial growth owing a high incidences of chronic and infectious disease worldwide. Augmented awareness about sleep disorders and depression together along with the increase in the healthcare related expenditure is expected to foster growth of the global CBD hemp oil market in the years to come. Uh, especially if we're going to uh, stay in this uh, pandemic for much longer. Um, I can see it increasing all the more. Canopy Growth Corporation, CBD, uh, American Shaman, Aurora Cannabis, uh, which I've talked about here on the uh, channel, as well as uh, numerous other uh, MJ. Um, I used to really like Aurora, but they did the reverse merger, so I'm still in the red on them, so... If I'm looking at a uh, single stock company outside of the ETFs, numerous ETFs that I've covered here on the channel, I go to um, Afria. 
Um, haven't pulled the trigger on uh, Tilray yet, but uh, probably will be here in the next uh, weeks. Um, but I'm still watching it, so. Uh, New Leaf Naturals and Endicoba BV are a few of the prominent companies that have been profiled in the global CBD hemp oil market. And lots of good information here also in this um, particular article. So feel free to go ahead and uh, pause the uh, video and read the rest there for yourself. But it talks about the Asia Pacific uh, market. And so you can kind of see the potential. Here's the uh, website for the uh, request for analysts of the Ronosaurus Rex impact on CBD uh, hemp oil market. That might be a video in itself. I'm sure there's all kinds of good information in there. Uh, like I said, I've done uh, covered uh, depression, anxiety with the uh, psychedelics. Uh, so go ahead and uh, research those uh, videos in my library as well. Uh, Natch Hemp Naturals is on the uh, OTC Pink. Uh, so if you're trading on uh, Robinhood, you can't buy this one since it is OTC. And if you're looking to get outside of Robinhood, I have uh, several links in the uh, description, whether it be uh, Weevils, a popular one, Doe, Moomoo, um, First Trade. You can uh, get free stocks from all of those if you would use those links and uh, you'll get a free stock and I get a free stock that helps support the channel um, but they announced today that they have a uh, signed a contract to buy farmland in Maine which will be used to grow hemp and as you can see this is dated the uh, 16th the uh, article says today but this is actually the uh, 16th as the CBD market grows natural Hemp Naturals OTC Pink HPMM continues to consider measures to aid expansion of the company in accordance with the shareholders' best interests and our missions of improving the lives of people in their communities through the availability of high quality CBD products. And feel free to go ahead and uh, pause the article and or the video and read the rest of the article there for yourself again this is on prnewswire.com there's just too much information to go over you can also search out this uh, article and it's on pr newswire right there you have it um this is just kind of some products and if you're wanting a little bit more information on uh, Hemp Naturals, as an early stage company, the company plans to research, develop, acquire, and sell products made of industrial hemp. The company intends to offer consumer goods that are made of industrial hemp and or non-psychoactive ingredients of the MJ plant. The company's additional products may include nutritional uh, hemp health supplements, hemp shakes and or foods, and beauty supply products with hemp as a key ingredient. So between covering all of those particular products, you can see why the um, hemp oil market could just be uh, huge. Uh, back to uh, Reddit, all kinds of people talking about this one. Um, shares, it's going to a dollar. Uh, that's what they also said about Sundial. Uh, it's actually above a dollar now for Sundial. and um, I almost bought some more on the dip, um, but I'm kind of knee deep in Sundial, and that's enough for me. So um, I'm neck deep in uh, <laughs> um, MJ stocks, uh, but that's all right. So I'm in them for the uh, long haul. Uh, I've covered this uh, BIOL uh Biolase, I think is what it's called. I just uh, recently bought some more of that. Ocugen, I've covered on the uh, channel here uh, numerous times. And um, so there's all kinds of people on here into um, penny stocks. And just bought some uh, Genus brands. I'm trying to do a dollar cost average out of that one. I bought that one last summer and then it did a nosedive. So I'm kind of soured on uh, Genus brands. But back to HM, HPMM. 
on uh, stock twits added more today no choice uh, looks like you got into it at a penny so like I said this one's still ground floor and you can see the potential with the uh, oil coming up uh, now through the uh, next two years uh, 2023 just kind of went over uh, some of the uh, catalyst hope they don't do a reverse split like they did with HPTY I haven't really looked into HPTY and that's what I would say it's kind of rebounding it's been kind of up and down um, these are all penny stocks over the counter so just be careful with them set your stops um, if you're in them for the long term that's fine again I don't give tax legal or trading advice you have to do your own due diligence I have a couple hundred shares of um, sundial you can kind of see it's kind of on the going down again today um, but it's at least staying up above a dollar so that's the uh, key point and there's run for us run almost time for this thing to run so and that's what I say about it um, like I said I pointed out a couple catalysts and I mean if you look at it over the uh, long term and you can kind of get dizzy watching this here even if you're uh, <laughs> Well, that's for another video, but um, hemp. I've had some of this MJNA. It just doesn't do anything. I've had it in my IRA for probably two years, and it's just stays around the eight to ten cents. So, if you can prove me wrong on that one, go ahead and leave a comment. If you have any of this HPMM, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, but I'm looking to um, purchase some of it um, probably around the um, load up 10 per 10,000 percent gains coming MJ farming going to bring millions in revenue and I totally agree with that one so and this is the uh, article that we already covered so you can find a lot of good information here in uh, stock twits uh, but just wanted to bring this one to your attention but you can kind of see the um, uh, point that I'm trying to make with this one you can get in on the ground floor again like I said I don't give tax legal or trading advice do your own due diligence I'm just uh, bringing some stocks your way and uh, give you something to think about especially uh, with the uh, Dems in now and um, the uh, part that they will play but you can kind of see what this one's doing so I mean even if you get in at a uh, penny and I'm just doing some math here I mean, you could get in at a penny and get a thousand shares for ten dollars. So I mean, if you lose out on ten dollars, some people might be mad. Um, I get upset when I go to the casinos and lose ten dollars. <laughs> but stocks is another um, thing you can um, purchase. And I mean, if it goes up to a dollar, just look what your investment would be would uh, turn into. Would be uh, rather interesting. So. But uh, that is it for uh, this one, uh, HPMM. Um, I just released a, um, another video. Uh, um, it should be uh, dropping by the time you uh, see this one dropped. Um, but go ahead and watch for that one as well. It's in the uh, MJ delivery business, so it's kind of an interesting company. And if you're into Forwardly or TSNP, I've covered that numerous times, as well as a lot of other MJ plays out there, especially uh, Sundial. Go ahead and search for those in my library. That's it for uh, Hemp Naturals. If you haven't smashed that like button, go ahead and hit that for me, as well as subscribing. And trying to do uh, my next goal is 1,000 subscribers. And um, I know we can do it. I know you'll help me out. And comments always are welcome, as well. And that helps out the algorithm as well. So, again, this is Jay Money, Falling Forward Financial. Happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.